everyone, pleased to meet you all again. How are you guys doing lately? Well, it's already December and it's almost New Year. It's almost 2021. Well, hopefully that next year would be better than this year. Okay. Um, okay, right now let's continue with our RPG combat system. So, in this episode, I would like to talk about um, melee combo attack plus combination between heavy and light attack. Okay, now I would like to go to my player PP over here and I would like to create a new graph. So my PP looks tidier. Okay, I'm gonna name it as melee combo attack or yeah, melee attack is fine. It's just naming stuff like that and I would like to create action mappings over here um, for me this is the easiest way and fastest way to do just right click and then just pick whatever um, key in your keyboard or your mouse so I'll go with right mouse button and also left mouse button and then in here I would like to create several variables um, around four boolean variables and about two or three integer variables So yeah, over here, as you guys could see, I have is attacking, safe attack, heavy attack, and light attack, boolean variables. Also for the attack counts, and also for the combo count. Okay, and now in here, I would like to create three custom events. And they are attack, combo attack, and reset combo. So, for the left mouse button, I would like to connect it with my light attack variable. And for the right mouse button would be my heavy attack. And then I simply connect it with my attack function, my attack um, custom event over here. Let's drag it. Um, then the next thing I would like to do is branch. So, is it attacking? If it is false, then Then let's set our is attacking variable into true and then let's do another branch for determine which uh, for determining um, whether it is light attack or a heavy attack. I would like to do another branch like this. Okay, so now for the true condition, for the true condition, let's do switch on integer and here for the selection, I connect it with my attack on light. Over here, let's Connect it like this. Okay, so if um, the value from the attack count light is zero, then it will be execute this statement, this condition over here, and then if the fire the value is 1, then 
this statement or this condition would be executed. Okay, next thing. I would like to do print string so we could track whether our logic is correct or not. And I would like to do the same thing with the heavy attack. And then after this, I would like to connect it with any montage by any montage. And then right at the end of this statement, I would like to reset my light and heavy attack value. So it would be false. And also in here, um, let's set our is attacking into false. Okay. Let's toss it up. It's work. Um, I mean, the logic is work. Now the problem is our animations won't play. So. Let's go to our AnimBP over there and what do I want to do is to connect my full um, locomotion pose into our slot. So it, let me show you guys. So in here, if you guys are using Paragon Assets, they already provide you with um, groups over here or well, you could say it slots. So in this animontage, they already categorize it into the upper body slot. So of course in here, we have to choose the right slot, which means the upper body. And then let's save it into another pose and I'm gonna name it as an upper body and let's connect it to here and yes it works but it's behaving weird <laughs> um, when we are accelerating, okay? So it should be um, only playing the attack animation from the hip to above, okay? From the hip above. So what am I gonna do next is by creating a value um, by creating a curve inside um, our animal touch so I'm gonna use full body curve and I would like to create two keys at the beginning and at the end of this animation so the simplest thing, the easiest, the fastest way to do is just by middle click at the point. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing with um, the other one touch. Then I would like to go back to my NMPP and I would like to jump into my event graph. So over here, what do I would like to what I like to do is get curve value. 
and for the curve name is full body if it is greater than zero then let's throw it into variable as a full body variable and let's connect it like this so in here um in the anim graph i would like to use um layer blend per bone and also blend by bone okay um inside layered blend per bone i would like to use full locomotion pose as the base pose and then i'm gonna use the upper body as for the bone it would be spine one zero one and blend depth would be one then as for the false pose i'm also gonna use the upper body while for the active value would be if it is x if it is accelerating and not a full body then it will pay the true pose then let's save it as Promotion. Then over here, let's change it. Then let's try. It works. Okay, it works quite well. And then, um, what do I want to do is. To set combo attack so what do i want to do is by checking this guy this thing um let's connect it with our combo account over here and combo count plus one then let's do print string let's see what happened okay the numbers keep increasing but if i stop it didn't restart to one and it keeps on counting even though that it should be reset i mean i um, i didn't click my mouse for such a quite long time and yep let's fix this now i would like to um add another logics inside the combo attack custom events for the combo attack so let's do a crunch here save attack if it is true then um where is it it would be reset to false and then uh for here um let's set it into true and as for the reset combo let's of course reset everything all of the boolean variables and the integer variables it 
Okay. Um, next thing, I would like to go back to my anim BVC fan drive over here, and I would like to call anim notify for the save and reset combo. So, if you guys see in any in any parent's assets, they already provide you with this two notifies save attack and reset combo so in here i'm gonna use this and notify so over here i would like to call both of them and i'll get my character and call for my combo attack and reset combo functions or Custom event actually. Nice, so let's see how it works. Okay, okay, it reset. It goes pretty well. Yep, and it's done. <laughs> Quite a long episode. So by now, I will wrap up this video here and in the next episode, I would like to share to you guys how I set up special abilities for Kuang and also later on, I would like to add the VFX stuff so it would be more entertaining <laughs> to see. Okay, um, well, see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!